screams Tamara. Boring, plain outfit, a different elevated type of look. My girl, come on. Like, look at me. <laughs> Do you know who I am? I'm a boss. Like, mm, girl, mm, mm. bada boom, bada bing. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tamara Renee. If you're new, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. So as you can see by the title of today's video, we are talking blazers, blazers, and more blazers. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my blazer collection and you can see them lined up right here. Do you see all these beautiful, pretty colors? Like look, so pretty, so girly. I love them so much. So I've always been a blazer girl. I love wearing blazers. I just find that it can take a simple outfit. It can take your outfit from zero to 100, from nothing to something. It elevates your look altogether. And I truly believe that every woman needs a few blazers in her wardrobe. Even if it's just one or two, you need a blazer in your wardrobe. I just find that it comes in handy to have a really nice blazer in your wardrobe. And from wearing all of my blazers, I I love every color of the rainbow. I love the texture. I love the print. I'm here for it all. As you can see, like I don't have basic colors. I do have a few, but I really, really love me some gorgeous colors, especially in my blazers. Like what? And from posting my outfit pictures, you guys have been asking me to do a blazer collection so I figured this is the perfect time to give it to you guys and as much as I really wanted to wear a blazer in today's video y'all it is hot okay it is hot today is Friday Monday is spring it is mild outside I'm hearing the birds chirping and oh it's just putting me in such a good mood you know it really is so if you're interested in seeing what I got going on then keep on watching as I said, I truly believe every woman needs to have a blazer in her collection. It elevates your look overall. And there are so many ways that you can wear your blazers. You don't have to just wear it with a pant or a top. You can definitely wear it with a skirt. You can wear it with some shorts. You can wear it with a dress. You can wear it during the daytime. You can wear it during in the evening time. Like we're gonna get into all of that. So as you can see, I got my blazers lined up. I have them in the order of when I bought each one. I don't color coordinate, and I feel I probably will because, you know, I don't know, something like that. But I just like to see them, you know, the colors just spread all over and it just makes me feel really, really happy on the inside. I love me a good blazer because it automatically just makes me feel like I'm in charge. I own the place, like, look at me. <laughs> Do you know who I am? I'm a boss, like, mm, girl, mm, mm. I just love the feeling of I just love the feeling of when I'm wearing a nice blazer. So, as I said, I've always been a blazer girl, but there was a time in my life where I completely stopped wearing them and I don't know girl, here here I am like I know why. The reason why I stopped wearing blazers was because I truly could not find a really good blazer of good quality. I love quality in everything and especially in my clothing. And because I could not find a really, you know, nice blazer of quality, I think that's that's what made me kind of like step away from wearing blazers. Girl, I don't know, it was just a lot. Finally, I was able to find myself some really good quality blazers from Zara. You guys hear me talk about Zara all the time. That is my main squeeze. That is where I am majority of the time. If I'm not physically there in store, which I really don't care to be in store, but cause it's just crowded and you guys already know how Zara is, but the app, I stay on that app, okay? I stay on the app all the time. I do not wanna miss out on any of their little drops because sometimes they will, you know, pop in a little item here and there. And even when you put in, for example, your email to be notified when uh, an item is in stock, girl, they don't notify you. Well, for me at least. I just have to check myself and then I'll see my size and I'm like, oh, let me snag her. And that's what ended up happening to me this week, but it wasn't with a blazer, it was something completely different. But anywho, I don't wanna get off topic, but I'm just letting you guys know how Zara be moving sometimes. So if you guys see me looking down, it's because I'm looking at my phone, I have, some notes here and I just want to 
be organized and follow through. So the first blazer that I will be talking about is this beautiful Bottega green tailored blazer. I got my hands on her sometime in April of last year, 2021. And she is such a statement. She is so bold. She is so beautiful. And I love it so much. So when I saw this blazer, it actually came in another color as well. And I was debating on what color I wanted to get. And I'm the kind of person, hear me, I'm the kind of person if I see an item in multiple colors and I can't make up my mind, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get all of them, okay? That's just how I am. I'm, but I'm trying so hard to let go of that habit. But sometimes with some pieces, it's necessary. You need it in the colors that are available. So I picked it up in the Bottega Green and then I also got this beautiful cobalt blue blazer it is the same blazer same structure just different color so i could not leave the bottega green behind i had to get the blue one but i purchased the green one first now since because it was my first time making a purchase on zara buying their blazers i didn't know what my size was and this is a question that comes up all the time people are always asking me like what's my size how do i know what size to get in blazers so I did not purchase it in store and also another thing I find that the like bigger sizes are always sold out in Zara stores well at least the Zara location that I usually go to which is one at Yorkdale Mall um, I really don't be finding the bigger sizes there it's usually extra small small or medium you know but when I purchased the blazer online I was like okay what I'm gonna do since I don't know my size, I'm going to get a size that I believe would fit and then I will get a bigger size. So I purchased a medium and a large and this is the Bottega Green. And when I received it, you know, obviously the intention is to return the one that doesn't fit. So that's exactly what I did. So the medium, which is my true size and like tops, um, it was very snug. I didn't have enough room and we know, you know, Zara can be a little funny with their sizing and I don't know why. So in all of my Zara blazers, I am a large and I just go for a comfortable fit. I make sure I have room to move around and you know, just make sure that it looks and fits good all the way around. So I kept the large and I returned the medium. And then from there I was like, okay, I want the blue one. So I'm gonna get that in a large as well. And I got it and bada boom, bada bing. So again, I don't know if I already mentioned this because my mind is all over the place, but all of my blazers from Zara, I usually purchase online in the app. I never buy them in store. I just go through the app I, or the website. I just go through the pictures, see how they look on the model. And I don't really go based off how it looks on the model. If I'm attracted to that piece, I'm going to buy it. And then if I try it on and I love it, I'm going to keep it. If I don't, I'm going to return it. And it's just that simple. More than anything, what I love about these blazers, I am also a gold lover. I love gold jewelry. I love it against my complexion. I just think it looks good on me. I love that Zara blazers have you know those little touches and little accents of gold now I know some people may find the gold buttons or the gold accents on a blazer to be a bit tacky but yeah, girl when I have on a nice blazer with some gold detailing I just feel very luxurious I feel like I just feel royalty all around I just absolutely love it and I'm all the way here for it so when I saw that blazer in the Bottega Green and the Cobalt Blue um, I kind of like eased off of blazers because I just felt like that was enough. And it got to a point where I was like, okay, I have two beautiful colors. I need to get something of, you know, basic colors. I need a white and I need a black. So I went back on the site a couple months after and I saw this same blazer in the blue and the green in a baby pink, a very soft pastel pink. And again, it had the gold buttons. And what I love about these blazers, they have such structure to them. They're not flimsy and they're not, you know, cheap feel or looking. It's of good quality. Like you guys see it in the photos because everyone's always impressed with the blazers. And when I tell them it's from Zara, they're always surprised. So Zara knows what they're doing with their blazers, okay? They know what they're doing. So I had to get this blazer in the soft pink. I just love the tailored cut. It just gives you that nice, you know, hourglass look. Like they really know what they're doing. And I love blazers that have shape and structure to them over the wide box feeling ones. I don't know. That's just 
me personally so I got those three and then afterwards I was like okay I really need to get myself a white one and I need to get myself a black one so my birthday was coming up and then I ended up coming across this beautiful white blazer with gold detailings gold buttons on it and I honestly fell in love and I was like I have to get this blazer now I don't remember if it had the word oversized in the title but I got it in a large and it did feel a bit roomy, but I'm like, you know what? I don't mind if it has that oversized feel to it as long as I can move around in it and I look good and doesn't look too heavy or not heavy, but it doesn't look too big on me, then I'm cool. So I had to get my hands on this blazer and it was perfect timing because around that time I wanted to wear a white outfit for my birthday and when I saw it, I was like, my outfit is complete. So I had to get my hands on this blazer and I recently shared a photo on my Instagram wearing this blazer with a whole different outfit and everyone was asking, where's the blazer from? Where's the blazer from where's the blazer from girl it's from zara okay but because i purchased it last year unfortunately unfortunately it is no longer available so that is why i always encourage you i tell you guys all the time y'all need to be on the zara site you guys need to be living on the app just the same as me because i don't play when it comes to my clothing i really don't next i got myself a black blazer and it's the same one as the white again it has the gold buttons on it it is just so beautiful it screams luxe and I absolutely love it and more than anything with these blazers I really love the shoulder padding it just gives off a certain vibe a certain feel and I love it so much so this black blazer again in a size large it's the same as the white one. I find that this one though fit a bit bigger. It was a bit, yeah, it, the fit was a bit bigger and a lot more loose than the white one. I'm not sure why. Because I felt the large was a bit big, it felt like an extra large. I was like, okay, let me purchase a medium. So I purchased a medium, tried it on, and girl, it was too tight. So I'm like, okay, there was definitely some problems with the sizing with this black one because it is the same exact blazer as the white one. So I, I assumed that the black would fit like the white, but no but you know it's all good I said to myself whatever I still want it I like it it has the details and stuff that I like in a blazer and want in a blazer so I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna pull it off and I can make it work and trust me girl I made it work okay I made it work if you really want to get into blazers you want to wear blazers I would say it's best to start off with your basic colors your neutral tones because it's easier to style and it also gives you some time to see how you can style and wear your blazer with um, a lot of colors and just different outfits all together and then if you really like it then I would say you know branch off and get yourself some color but me I did not hesitate okay I love me some color I know my color palettes. I know what works for me and what I love wearing. So yeah, the blue and the green or the green and the blue was my first blazer purchase um, in a very long time. So the next blazer that I stumbled across and fell in love with is this beautiful red tweed blazer. You guys, this blazer is everything. Again, it has the gold buttons. I, at the time, never had like a textured type of blazer and I'm like this is perfect I need to have this blazer in my life and I think it was available also in blue and I think the Bottega green but I'm like I already have those two colors in a different material let me stay away and let me just get a different color that I don't have so that's why I had to get the red one and she's all around gorgeous and beautiful again when i dropped the photo of me wearing this blazer you guys were going off and i'm like zara 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 i think you guys really be sleeping on zara y'all need to give zara a chance okay give zara a chance and what they need to do is come sponsor me because i talk about Z zara day and night like what come on but yes, this blazer is definitely a must have in my wardrobe. I love the color, I love the texture, I love the shape to it, I love the gold detailings. Like it it was it's just perfect, you know? It 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 was meant to be. It truly was meant to be. Mm -hmm. So after purchasing the red one, we were now heavy and deep in fall. And I was like, I want some more blazers. I want some more blazers. So I was going through the site and I came across this beautiful 
brown leather blazer with gold detailing. Oh my goodness, you guys. This blazer is so beautiful. The fit is amazing. The structure, the style, everything about this blazer just I'm in awe, I'm in awe. When I got it, I tried it on and I fell in love and I was just like, wow, look at me with a brown leather blazer. With gold detailing, like, ah, uh, never go wrong. I absolutely love this blazer and I actually like that this blazer fits a little bit longer on me. Well, let's just keep in mind, I'm very short. I'm like 4'11 or five feet. I'm five feet. <laughs> So the blazers do fit a little bit longer on me. Compared to someone who's taller than me, it would have kind of fit a little shorter, but it's still of good length, okay? Don't get me wrong, it's still of good length, but I absolutely love this blazer and the detailing of it, and it's just gorgeous. I just love this blazer. Like, I'm so happy I have her in my collection. I really am happy. So after I bought the brown leather blazer, it was only fair and only right that I get my hands on a black leather blazer and uh, gold detailing. Y'all, like, you guys don't understand the happiness and the thrill and the joy that I feel when it comes to these blazers, just the overall quality of these blazers. It is just everything. What I really love about this blazer compared to my other blazers, this one has one button. And I just feel that touch of one gold button sets it off for me. And you can obviously tell the difference between the brown leather and the black leather. Yes, they're both leather, but we got a different style going on, you know? you know so i really love this blazer this is another blazer that is i would say popular when i say popular i mean whenever i wear it i'm always getting asked where did i purchase it girl the answer is zara you guys should know by now <laughs> it's always going to be zara for me always well, after making these purchases and having a lot of gold detailing on my blazers next i really wanted to get myself a blazer that did not have any accents of gold. I just wanted it to be simple and plain and then I would accessorize it the way I want to with my gold jewelry. So I was stumbling across the site and I came across this beautiful black blazer. The fitting is amazing. The quality, the structure, the material, I absolutely love this blazer. But what stood out the most is the fact that the collar is like a satin type of you know material. So it sets it off from your typical black blazer. So even though it does not have gold buttons, it still has something extra to it, you know what I mean? And I absolutely love this blazer. When I dropped my photo on Instagram wearing it, you guys were asking, where's the blazer from, where's the blazer from, even though it was tagged, but it's from Zara, like girl, Zara. I fell in love with this blazer and I love it a lot. I love that it does not have gold on it. It's something different. I wanted something different compared to the blazers that I have. So, you know, I have your the regular black with the gold buttons then I got a black leather with a gold button and now I have a plain black one and it's just different. It makes me feel so good and whew, mm, girl, the blazer is everything. I absolutely love it. So after I got those blazers, I think I was a little satisfied, but I was low-key craving for more. So one day, you know, I happened to be on the site and I came across this beautiful, soft pink tweed blazer with black trimming. I immediately fell in love. Now it said that it was coming soon and it was coming soon for over a month. And I'm just like, what is going on? I go on Instagram and I remember coming across another reel of um, this woman wearing the blazer and like she was styling it and it looked so beautiful. I'm like, no, I need this blazer in my life. I need this blazer in my life. And finally, cause this was back in December, finally it was in stock in January and I purchased it and I fell in love with this blazer. It is different. And what I really love too is the buttons on this blazer is not the full gold, but it does have a gold trim around and then the middle of the button is black. So it really sets it off. It really adds, you know, some extra detail to the blazer. It's just not, you know, typical gold buttons but there's they they thought they really thought about this blazer okay they really thought about the extra details and i'm all for details like 
all the way here for details so i had to get my hands on this blazer i went to the store one day and i saw that same blazer in white so where the soft pink is it's white with the black trimming and i was contemplating on if i wanted to get the white with the black trimming and at the time i decided you know it's not necessary i don't need it but now when i think about it like right now i probably should have gotten it but it's okay because Zara be coming through, they be coming through, they be coming through with the blazers and the colors. So I'm not even mad at it, but I'm so happy that I got my hands on the, the baby pink one because it's different from your typical, you know, black and white. It's just everything. I absolutely love it. So the next blazer that I got my hands on is a blazer that is not from Zara. Mm-hmm. I said it, it's not from Zara. It is this beautiful, hot, pink, oversized blazer that I got from Pretty Little Thing. I love this blazer so much. Why? Because of the color. Now with this blazer, it does not have that tailored shape to it. It's legit just like, you know, it's a shapeless blazer. It's that box, boxy square type of look and it's oversized with shoulder padding. And because it has a loose fit and I'm already a short person and I got short arms, I was in no way, shape or form going to wear the blazer all the way like length full. I decided to push the sleeves up with wearing this blazer. And honestly, it gives some, you know, edge to your outfit. So I really love this blazer. I had to get it because it was in hot pink and it's, as you can see right there, it's a color that I never had, you know, in my wardrobe for a blazer. Yes, I have two pinks, but they're soft pinks. I think it was a part of the, I don't know, thank you. I think Lori Harvey had a collaboration with them. Honestly, I don't remember. Correct me if I'm wrong. Was it, was, I think it was a collaboration. Was it? And I think she was the model wearing the, anyways, I saw her wearing the blazer and I'm like, yo, I have to get my hands on that blazer. It did come in lime green. So I was debating on if I wanted to get the lime green or the hot pink, but I decided to get the hot pink because, you know, she's a moment and she's beautiful. And even though the lime green is beautiful as well, and I don't have a color of that blazer in my wardrobe yet, I just decided, you know, let me get the pink. I'm going to get the pink. And I will say this right now. I'm a person of quality. I say this all the time. And all of my blazers that I've received or bought from Zara are of quality, except for this one. So like I said, this one is from Pretty Little Thing and it lacks quality heavy, okay? It lacks heavy. So that's why I was weighing my options. Do I want the pink or do I want the lime? Because yes, I could have gotten both, but the quality isn't there. And you know, it is what it is. So I just made sure to get myself one and I got the hot pink so one of these days I'm definitely gonna get a beautiful lime green blazer I would love it to have gold detailing but even if you get a blazer that has just a solid color button you can definitely buy some gold buttons and stitch that yourself and you will just give that blazer a different look overall so the next blazer I ended up getting my hands on is this beautiful cream long tailored shape style blazer this is from zara it is screaming quality from head to toe i just love this blazer so much and it fits like a glove like it was really meant for me it fits like a glove it fits like a glove i absolutely love this blazer this blazer was available in the cream color and black and i didn't know which one i wanted i decided to get the cream because i already have enough black blazers even though you can't have enough black blazers but with this particular style i decided to get the cream because she is beautiful i wore this blazer with a full white fit you guys saw it on instagram i'll pop a photo right here so you guys can see and she is definitely a moment and i love the pop of that just one gold button the one gold button and i love that it's long as well like it's giving coat vibes so i really love this blazer the fit is amazing zara knew what they were doing she's everything and i love the feeling that i get when i wear this blazer i don't know there's just something about this blazer 
like when I compare it to all the blazers in my blazer collection, there's just something about this particular blazer. I don't know what it is. Like I can't find the words. I can't put my finger on it, but mm -hmm. that blazer is my girl. She's my girl. A moment of silence for this blazer. Am I dramatic? <laughs> oh my gosh. Listen, I'm girl. Sometimes I'm too much for myself. A moment of silence though, for real, because this next blazer, I am in awe, like awe. This blazer is a moment she is giving. She is beautiful. I love this blazer so much. Like, so, so, so much. Love this blazer a lot. It is this beautiful turquoise, bluish, pretty color. And mm, 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 girl, I am so happy I got my hands on this blazer, okay? The color alone screams Tamara, okay? It screams my name. It has some gold detail, like yo, listen. I saw this blazer on the site and it was funny because it wasn't at the top. Because usually when something's new on the site, they always have it at the top whenever you're searching through. Like if you're on, in the blazer section, what's new is at the top. And then what's older or out of stock or limited is at the bottom. Right? However, this blazer, although she was a new one, she was located at the bottom. And I didn't understand why. Because when I clicked on it, the sizes were there. Girl, the large was gone i could not click on it i couldn't tap on it i couldn't buy it and i was so sad and it did not say come more coming soon so i'm like wow i missed out on this beautiful blazer how how did i miss it but listen after i saw this blazer you guys i kept daydreaming about the blazer like legit no word of a lie and it's because of the color the color is so beautiful i went back on the site to see if they would possibly i don't know restock or something but no then i end up seeing that the medium and the small was also out of stock and i was like wow i really missed out on a great blazer and i'm so hurt right now so hurt but listen god and god alone the next day because this is really a story the next day I went on Zara and a large was available. So someone must have returned it or they probably just stumbled across it back in stock or whatever. But the large was back in stock and then all the other sizes were back in stock. I'm like, okay, thank you, God. No hesitation. I threw that in my cart. I made the purchase. And well, not right away because I did buy some other things as well, but I had to, had to, had to, had to get my hands on this blazer. It's a tweed textured blazer. We have gold buttons. It has shape to it, the structure, the quality, everything about this blazer is everything. And I'm so happy I got my hands on it because to be honest with you, like even though, you know, Zara has it, I didn't see a lot of people wearing this blazer on Zara the way I've seen people wear the other colors in the blazers that they have. But I don't know. I don't know if Zara is picky and choosy with where, ah, girl, I don't know. But listen, I'm just overall happy that I got this blazer, okay? She is a vibe. She's a moment. And I cannot wait to wear her. I do plan on wearing it. Listen, she's just going to be the statement piece, okay? She's a statement piece. And I will let her do the talking with my outfit when I when I style her. Woo, y'all, I'm just so happy. Okay, so after I purchased that one, I saw that it's in this, it also comes in this off-white creamish type of color. It's not the cream cream one, but it's an off-white color, like an eggshell white, tweed, gold detailing. I was just like, I have to get this blazer as well. I have to get this blazer as well. And I really wanted to incorporate different texture and different prints and stuff in my collection. So I'm not even mad at the fact that I bought two tweed blazers. I mean, it's the same style, but the colors give a different vibe. And I, I love these blazers so much and I cannot wait to style them. Like I really can't, like my mind is like, 
going through so many different options and I just got to choose the right option and the other options I have in my mind I'll wear that some other time you know yeah but yo shout out to Zara big time shout out to Zara for coming through with these beautiful blazers because like yeah I'm just so happy and on camera it's giving a darker blue and even the cold well, I don't know what is going on but on camera it's it's not giving the true color from what I'm seeing here in the viewfinder I don't know let's see when I edit but she is definitely a moment she is definitely a moment I love these blazers so much love them love them love them all right so the last blazer that I got my hands on is this purple blazer and I got it from Boohoo and I was quite surprised I was just like purple is my absolute favorite color why didn't I why did I not have a blazer in purple from the jump like what anyway do you see her right here and even on camera the camera's not doing any justice because it's looking darker but it's a beautiful purple like true color purple and I'm just so happy I got my hands on this blazer because when I was going through the Boohoo website, the sizing was limited with this particular blazer, but I believe I got this in a size 10. So y'all, like this blazer is everything. Now, it's from Boohoo. So it's lacking quality compared to my Zara blazers, but it's okay because I can still make it work. I can still make it happen, you know? So with this blazer also, I do plan to, you know, like roll up the sleeves to give it a, a different look, a different feel, a different vibe to give it more edge. And it's, it's going to be a moment and I cannot wait to style her. When I made the purchase, I thought about the buttons not being gold. It's just plain purple. And I am contemplating on if I want to remove the purple button and swap it out for a gold one. And I just love that it's one button, you know? I just feel if I were to change the purple button to a gold one, it will just give a different vibe, a different feel. But we'll see, we will see. We'll see. But yes, purple is my favorite color, if you didn't know. My absolute favorite color. And I have a blazer in my favorite color in my collection. Like what? So happy. All right, you guys. So that is it for my blazer collection. We went through all of them. I have a total of 15 and I'm not done. I want some more. And mm -hmm. I will say though, I made one blazer slip through my fingers and I'm so sad I missed out on it but it is what it is okay Zara always comes through with their blazers they're always adding new ones every single day different colors different styles and stuff but I absolutely love the collection that I have what I've started with and where I am right now and the more that's to come you know so as I stated earlier it's good to start off with basic colors in blazers and then work your way so as you can see I have solid colors and even though I have a few tweeds what I want to really get my hands on are some pattern you know different type of pattern and different prints in my blazers now I have I have yet to come across a nice quality blazer with a nice pattern or print on it but believe me when I do come across her she's coming home with me okay she's coming home with me but honestly I don't mind getting the cheaper ones because there are I mean there are so many ways that you can style and wear your blazers and not all the time do you want to wear a structured type of blazer and I say that because all the blazers that I have minus the the pretty little thing and the boohoo one they are of good structure and quality that I wear the sleeves full I don't you know push up the sleeves at all and I mean yes I can steam it or iron it after but I just feel the blazers are just too good to be rolled up or to, you know to do all that extra stuff with the sleeve so that's why I always keep it you know full length but with the cheaper ones because they're very flimsy you know it's easy for me to just push them up and just give a different look a different vibe to the blazer and with the thinner ones you can definitely layer them now how I wear my blazers I like to wear a sleeveless top if I have to wear a long sleeve shirt underneath I will but but it's not as roomy 
Do you get what I mean? Like I have room, but it's not as roomy. So when it comes to my blazers, I like to keep it very simple with the top. Or even if I'm wearing a long sleeve top, I have to, I want to make sure that it's a very thin material um, all the way through so that, you know, I don't feel bulky or anything like that. And like I said, there are so many ways that you can style your blazers. You don't have to wear them with your arms all the way through. You can definitely throw it on and wear as a cape, have it draped over your shoulders if you want to go for a nice look. Like even though summer and spring, summer the warmer weather is approaching I will not you know put these aside I will still wear my blazers especially on those nice you know summer evenings if you're going out for dinner or something and it's kind of cool you can definitely drape a blazer over your shoulders and just give your boring plain outfit a different elevated type of look my like, girl come on mmm Mm -hmm. In the future, we will definitely be doing some styling videos, but I did want to start off with my blazer collection because that was highly requested and I came through with it for you guys so you guys, you know, get to see what I got going on, but I'm certainly not done with purchasing blazers. I'm still going to buy more blazers, okay? still gonna be buying some more blazers i really hope you guys enjoyed this video we got so much more in store with you know the fashion content for you guys because y'all want it and i want to give it and i'm all the way here for it you know mm -hmm. i hope you guys truly enjoyed this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that little bell to be notified whenever i upload a video so you never miss a video and follow me on instagram at tamara renee and on tiktok at tamara.renee you guys can keep up with me there if you don't see me on youtube that's where i am i'm always dropping looks so that's where you can find me majority of the time you know i love you guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye I'm feeling so girly and so feminine and just ladylike right now. I mean, I always feel like that, but it's oozing like never before. I just, I love it. The colors, the spring, I hear the birds chirping. It's just putting me in a really, really good mood. And I'm here for it. I absolutely love it. The fragrance I'm wearing today, and I think this also helps with how I'm feeling because... Mm. Girl, spray that all over.